I'll just read the headline here from Nintendo <laughs> Life. Nintendo reiterates that it is not interested in virtual reality or 4K support. Um, now, I mean, kind of take this with a grain of salt because they also said they weren't interested in mobile games. And we have a few of those now. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But the gist of it, uh, you know, they kind of they reiterated, you know, that, that they don't feel like it will appeal to the general public. Um, and so they're, they, they feel it'd be a, like audience limiting move to do that. Um, uh, there's a quote here. Yeah. Go ahead and read you, the, the full quote. It's just three paragraphs. Yeah. There. Yeah. If you look at VR headsets, I doubt they can appeal to mainstream consumers are not patient with entertainment. If you're not able to deliver an all inclusive package, as far as 4k is concerned, it is useful to invest in a technology that has not been ad- adopted by the majority. Where are 4K TVs now? Is it a good idea to invest in a technology before consumers do? We can't invest in everything. What novelty would we bring compared to our competitors? If we do the exact same thing than everyone else, we're bound to die because we are smaller than them. With the Switch, we offer different uses, adapted to players' paces of life. Its advantage is being able to fit into your daily life. Um, So yeah, that... I think he's kind of right about that. The whole appeal of the Switch is that it's an HD gaming system that you can take on the go. And you can take anywhere, and then you can plug it into your TV, and that it's accessible to everyone. Um, this actually kind of reminds me of uh, the Wii when it came out. It did not have HDMI support, mm-hmm. and people were really, you know, like, why? Xbox <laughs> has it. PlayStation 3 has it, but Wii doesn't. And the reason was, like, most people who are buying a Wii do not have HD TVs. Um, and so they wanted to... And I think they should have had a maybe a port built in, and then you could buy an HDMI cable if you wanted to, but that's another story. By the time the Wii U came out, mostly everyone had HD TVs, so it had HDMI support. So um, it's just sort of they're trying to not limit their accessibility that's something Nintendo's pretty well known for is, is, is that level of accessibility. And um, yeah, that's that's what I got to say about that. <laughs> yeah, or they're playing mind games and then they're on that H- 8K. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah could be. No, I'm just it, kidding. <laughs> it, it reminds me, like, I, I always hate saying negative stuff about Nintendo uh, because, mm-hmm. like you, uh, Daniel and I, our YouTube channel is also a Nintendo brand ambassador. So anytime like something negative comes up about Nintendo, I just like hesitate to mention it. But in the past, there were interviews where Miyamoto, uh, the one I always reference is when the Nintendo 3DS first came out, he was being interviewed by IGN or someone and they asked him, uh, do you have anything for the Nintendo fans who are hesitant to buy a Nintendo 3DS because they're looking forward to a 3DS XL or whatever the next iteration of the 3DS is. Because at this point in time, there were like the 2DS, two, or not 2DS, the regular DS, DSi, DSi XL, and all of those. Uh, so there's like four or five different versions of this. And during this interview, Miyamoto said that Nintendo had no plans to produce any other variations of the 3DS, that it was just <laughs> the Nintendo 3DS. That was it. A couple of months later, they in officially announced the 3DS XL. So it was something where they were working on it, but he wasn't allowed to say it. Um, so yeah. with this... And also, you know, they change their mind about things sometimes. Yeah. I think when they, they were asked if they would ever do mobile games, and then they said, if we ever did mobile games, we wouldn't be Nintendo. And then they did mobile games. That's yeah. just my favorite <laughs> example. So, you know, they, sometimes they, they feel out the market. If they're not feeling it, they won't touch it, and they'll be adamantly against it. And then later down the line, they might start. They might come around, right? Who yeah. knows? Well, I, I always think back to that interview with Miyamoto, and then of course now we have the 3DS, 3DS XL, 2DS, 2DS, new 2DS, 2DS XL. XL, and then the new 3DS <laughs> yeah. and the new 3DS XL. Uh, but what he was saying is understandable, and it, it also uh, their talk about VR reminds me when the Nintendo Switch was first being rumored. There were patents with the Nintendo Switch to where uh, there's like a case or something that you could put on your head slip the switch console down inside of it 
there were mm-hmm. patents leaked about that, and everyone was talking about is the Switch going to support VR? Um, obviously, like in the same way that you could put your cell phone into a headset and have like pseudo VR tech, um, the Switch obviously would be able to do that as well. It'd be a heavy mm-hmm. headset. I th- yeah, but I think it would be too heavy. <laughs> but you would, you would imagine able... building that a cardboard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah. there's, like, Nintendo has the, I, I think they've probably experimented with it at some point. Obviously, they have the uh, patent for it, so uh, mm-hmm. whether or not they're actually going to do it, who knows. I think it's very interesting that, like, this report comes out. It was something else that I think about was when PlayStation first mentioned uh, the PSVR, there was uh, an interview between Jeff Keighley, who runs the uh, Video Game Awards every year. Uh, it was just the uh, last month, I believe, the last Video Game Awards. So there was an interview where he stopped Reggie, the president of Nintendo of America, once he was leaving the PlayStation. And he was like, hey, what, did you check out any of the PlayStation games? What did you like? And he said that he was interested in the playstation vr uh and he was checking out some of the vr experiences they had and he was saying that it was fun and everything else but then there was other interviews where reggie says that uh there's no interest in vr so like you have sort of conflicting stuff um Hmm. so yeah but what are your thoughts on all of this uh daniel and chris uh we, we can start with you again chris like just do you think Nintendo will ever be doing VR again after? Because it could just be they want to stay away from it because of the Virtual Boy. Obviously, it didn't do too well a long time ago. <laughs> we we learned from our mistakes. <laughs> yeah. At the same time, that was like, you know, over 20 years ago when the console wasn't very powerful and it was just a bunch of red colors. So. A little bit ahead of its time, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think so yeah. eventually. All right, well, what about you, Dick? Do you think Nintendo could be doing it time soon with VR? Or obviously mm. not 4K, they would need to come out with an entirely console for that. So. Yeah. yeah, I don't think they're going to touch 4K this time. Um, the thing with VR is that, like, I don't know. It, it's, Nintendo's such a curveball. Like, they're, <laughs> they're a wild card with what they're going to do next. And I love that about them. Because it's like, with the other consoles, you basically know that the next one is just going to be the newer, more powerful, you know, harder, better, faster, stronger version of the old one. Um, and Nintendo is gonna gonna come out left field with something, which is why I've always been a Nintendo fan. You know, I had a PlayStation One, and I had an Xbox 360. And those those are the only consoles, non Nintendo consoles, that I really got invested in. Um, which is kind of I've been still toying with the idea of a PS4, but um, Nintendo just they just take all my whole all my money. They I just give it to them because <laughs> I I just I see what they're doing and I'm like this is something fun and interesting and new. Um, which is, I'm getting a little off topic, but so with VR, like they might not now. But they could in the future. Like, Mm -hmm. after the Virtual Boy was your example, you know, they probably, you probably wouldn't have expected them to ever do anything with 3D. Um, Because that was the Virtual Boy's, I think part of its big shtick was that it it was 3D gaming. Yeah. Um, Like you said, ahead of its time. And now we have the 3DS, which is like really pushing the 3D, which I never use the 3D setting, but (laughs) it's there, you know, and the 3DS has been pretty successful, I would say. Um, has a huge install base, um, so yeah, you know it could happen in the future. Yeah, it's just hard to say when. All right. Do you have any final thoughts on this, Chris? Like, um, yeah, eventually. I think eventually. when everyone can get like their hands on virtual reality or like 4K, obviously, I think that's when they're going to come out with it. You know, because um, they want to make sure that everyone can at least have you know that product and Mm -hmm. not limit it to like someone who does like my friend has a vr system but you know like i'm not gonna go out and spend two thousand dollars for what you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. so it's like eventually it's understandable why they don't want to do it now but Mm -hmm. 
course, later down the road. I mean, you know, just I don't even have a 4K like TV or anything like that. That's still not even available for a lot of people. And at CES, uh, they just announced 8K, which is even crazier. But, you know, mm-hmm. so when the market opens up for that, I think that's when they're going to jump on it. Yeah. Even and when it's commonplace, like once I, like with the HD TVs bef- <laughs> of the past, you know, like no one has like as it has to be commonplace that just something everyone has first yeah um before they would go into it yeah i agree yeah i Mm -hmm. i would really like to see because as we can see just from the nintendo labo thing our last news story nintendo as creative as they are i think they there's a lot of stuff that they could do that microsoft playstation or some of the other third parties wouldn't necessarily be able to think of without uh because they don't feel their audience would be interested in it. But with Nintendo, mm-hmm. like they're a lot more creative and come up with a lot of new concepts that I don't think anyone would have ever... Like, if you told someone to name off a hundred different things they expected Nintendo to do this year, I don't think a single one of that would be... They're going to create a game where you use cardboard to play as a giant robot. So... Uh, as mm-hmm. brave as they are, like there's, I think there's a lot of interesting stuff that they could make uh, with 3D. So 